अप्लॉड्स टू इंडिया सर थैंक यू फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू सर श्री जी एम हरीश बालियों की स्पीकर सर टुडे आई स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ इमेंस प्राइड एंड जॉय एज वी सेलिब्रेट एंड सेंड आवर हार्टफुल कंग्रेचुलेशन टू द इंडियन कंटिजेंट हेडिंग टू द पैरिस ओलंपिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ आर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी वी हैव सीन अ रिमार्केबल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स एस्पेशली इन रिगार्ड्स टू स्पोर्ट्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड डेवलपमेंट on behalf of our party leader shri nara chandrababu naidu ji and telugu desam party i would like to begin by congratulating all our sports persons who are representing our nation at the olympics to be held in paris i am sure that all of us here along with the rest of our brothers and sisters in india and across the world will cheer and support our sports persons as they bring even more glory to our country Our country has a long and vibrant association with the Olympics right from its modern day avatar in 1900s when a sole sports person that to a britisher represented india to the current contingent of 117 sports persons our country has grown tremendously and in currently on the right track to become one of the leading nations in the olympics i am extremely profound for all the athletes especially those from andhra pradesh such as satvik sai raj from amlapuram in badminton dheeraj from vijayawada in archery jyotika from tanaku jyoti from visakhapatnam in athletics andhra pradesh has a proud history when it comes to olympics with sports persons such as karnam maleshwari ji first indian woman to win an olympic medal pv sindhu and various others each and every one of them have made us extremely proud as the mp from amlapuram it fills me with immense pride to see our own satvik sai raj representing india our chief minister chandrababu naidu ji has always been a strong believer in power of sports and relentless enabler of athletic talent the glory of the indian badminton is a testament to his visionary support for sports the foundations laid and the support given to badminton during his tenure have resulted in remarkable achievements we see today sir i find i firmly believe that to harness the true potential of our indian sports persons we must continue to establish and enhance sports infrastructure across the nation the modi government had made significant strides in the direction over the last decade the kelo india initiative which identifies and nurtures sports talent from school is a commendable step however to build a long term vision for indian sports we need to accelerate our efforts for an example under the kelo india initiative our state was to have 10 sports infrastructure projects of which only two have been completed four are under progress and four are yet to start in our people's capital amravati our chief minister nara chandrababu naidu ji has planned an ambitious sports city this city is envisioned to be the hub for nurturing talent and will include a world class sports university our hrd minister nara lokesh ji has been the vocal advocate for sports education and integration of the technology he believes that the future of sports infrastructure lies in combining cutting at cutting edge technology with the state of the art facilities to provide world class training for our youth nara lokesh ji vision for the sports education integrated with technology is paving the way for brighter future of our athletics it is crucial that our government invests in states like andhra pradesh which have a clear vision for sports and are aligned with our aspirations of new india by doing so we can we can ensure that our athletes receive the best possible support resources to excel on the world stage allow me to speak about my constituency amlapuram i have had the privilege of interacting with many local sports persons at gmc balyogi stadium which is named after my beloved father 
and he has always envisioned a state-of-the-art sports facilities for the rural youth to nurture the talent at the grassroots. So the passion and the talent these young athletes possess are truly immense and in inspiring. Being a young MP from Andhra Pradesh, I understand the importance of sports in overall development. It is vital that we create opportunities for our youth, not just for the athletic career, but for their personal growth as well. Moreover, sports are essential for maintaining good, good health. In a time where sedentary lifestyles are becoming increasingly common, promoting physical activities through sports can help combat various health issues. Encouraging our youth to participate in sports from an early age instills healthy habits and that can last a lifetime. I firmly believe in the importance of sports for overall development of our youth and shall stand in support of any and all initiatives at the central and state level growth of Amlapuram, Andhra Pradesh and India as a whole. Respected sir, I also would like to make some requests with specific requests to the state of Andhra Pradesh. We urge the central government to support establishment of a sports university in Amravati. This university will be pivotal in providing world-class training and education to our athletes, in integrated with advanced technologies as env envisioned by our HRD minister, Nara Lokeshji. Andhra Pradesh, a rich history of hosting successful international events, such as the Afro-Asian Games in 2002 under the leadership of Chandrababu Naiduji. We request the central government to consider Andhra Pradesh as the host for upcoming national games, showcasing our state cap capabilities and commitment to sports. Finally, I would also request my constituency in the, is the home for many passionate and yeah, talented athletes. To nurture this talent, we seek funds to update the building, build, uh, sports infrastructure in Amlapuram particularly enhancing facilities at GMC Balyogi Stadium. And to conclude, sir, as we prepare for the Paris Olympics 2024, let us pledge to continue supporting our athletics, building robust sports infrastructure, and fostering a culture of sportsmanship and excellence. Gold medals are not made of gold. They are made of sweat, determination, and hard-to-find alloy called guts, and I'm sure current Olympic contingent had abundance of this alloy, and my best wishes are with them. Thank you, and Jai Hind. Shri Shri Ranga. Maniya Shri Kesi Neni Sivnath Ji. Thank you, Madam. I represent from Vijayawada Parliament of Andhra Pradesh. The Pallavaram Irrigation Project is a true national project that will benefit six states in India. This project witnessed remarkable progress under the leadership of Chandrababu Naidu. By 2019, an impressive 71.93 percent of civil works and 18.66 of land acquisition and resettlement has been completed. However, from 2019 until May 2024, during the tenure of previous government in Andhra Pradesh, only 3.84 percent of civil works and 3.89 percent of land acquisition tasks were accomplished. Now, with a mission of model approach, the current Andhra Pradesh government has taken a decisive step to get Polavaram project back to track. The Chief Minister has declared every Monday a Polavaram day. This approach promises accelerated progress and timely completion. Thus, we earnestly urge upon the central government to release the sufficient funds for the development of critical projects and also the misuses done in the project. Also, inquiry the misuses done in the previous government during the project. The Polavaram project is more than a just infrastructure. It is a lifeline that will fulfill the growth and future of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you, Madam.